Welcome back to episode 4 of this survival let's play on Jack Pine. Before we get into the episode, what you're going to see is a few trips to the sawmill. The jump cut and then we'll come back. Right, what you'll have seen is we made just under 8,000 with them few trips to the sawmill. That's pretty much going to pay for, hopefully, our front loader, our spreader, and the lime and fertiliser that we're going to need. If you're wondering why I've brought the plough, it's basically just for a rear weight, because I'm not sure if I was going to be able to afford one or not. So, we will... Get the front loader attached, so that's 1,500. We will get... This front loader here, 5,400. We're going to need a pallet fork with that. There's another 800. And we need a spreader. A one that's suitable for lime and for fertiliser. Well, that one's out because it's too expensive. I don't have that machine. That's the one that I use that I mentioned in my last video, but I use quite a bit, so I don't really want to use that one. Right, so it's between these two, and I think. I'm going to go with the Stara Tornado. So we'll buy that. I don't know if I've mentioned, but we won't be leasing at all in this survival let's play. No leasing, no loans. So we'll get our makeshift way back on. I probably got, could have got away with the weight in the fertiliser, to be honest. Right, so we need some lime. I think if we get two of them... And we'll see how much room we've got left. I might just have to have to leave the plow up here for now. Nope, nowhere near. And we don't have the money for a word. And if you can just take the one off the top. I 
Well, that's a problem. I knew this tractor was going to be light, but I thought that would have been enough. It probably would have been if I didn't get the bullet by packs. If we fill this a bit, it might make it a bit lighter. Go. Even if we can only get one down, then we'll have to come back up for the other one. Oh, I might just be able to get it on. Right, we're in. I'll try this one, but I very much doubt we're going to be at a lifter. I don't know if you've noticed up in the right hand corner as well in the time, those trips to the sawmill have really took the time away. For this sort of uh, for this in-game day, right? We'll get that strapped on, and I'll see you down there. So we're back down at our farm. As you can see, I brought the tractor down first. So we'll just pull that up here. Switch engine off and we'll start liming. I'm quite keen to get this done today just because I want to get fertilised and then a crop in the ground Oh, that's quite a large spread, I think it's an 18, 18 metre doesn't it? Get towards the edges Ah, oh, we've got loads of lime that'll last us ages now For three and a half thousand, I think that's quite impressive to be honest. Ah, it's gonna start raining. Get this lineman done before. Just about there. Right. I think that'll do us. That's a bit over there. We'll go and do that little bit over there. As you can see, for what we've just purchased, we're now down to 
585 pound which to be honest was closer to zero than what I anticipated I thought we might have had a couple of thousand left Now, do I want to go and get that fertiliser now? We may as well. I'll take this out, and at least it's not going to get soaking wet. And we'll go up to the store, and we'll get the fertiliser. Although it will be getting dark soon, even if we can get up there and get back ready for the morning. I think that'll be the best way around it. So some of you might have realised, which I didn't, that when I said about going up to get the fertiliser and bringing it back ready for the next day, we actually have no money to do so. So, I've chopped a tree down. And we'll see what we get from this. And that is just enough. I think the fertiliser is 2,200. So if we quickly go over to the store now, then we should be able to get it in. And then get ready for tomorrow. I'll time lapse the journey over. So that was quite a test and drive in the dark. Obviously no artificial lighting anywhere. Right, we'll get this fertiliser board. So that puts us down to 245. See if we can get this loaded on. Maybe that I need to put some in the back first. Just about get it in. It wasn't pretty, but it's in. Hello, and welcome back to for you what is the next in game day for me. It's around about a month later, which, as I've explained in the Greenlands Let's Play was due to COVID, so I was unable to finish this video. So everything prior to this was uh, recorded around about a month ago. So we're just going to have to finish this episode off, which won't be long now. All I'm going to do, I think, is this... Our, well, I'll say this field, our only field, which is this one here. We limed in our last... Well, the first part of the episode. So we just need to get some fertiliser on it. Once we get some fertiliser on it, then we need to look at getting some sort of drill. But all that's for another episode. And I suppose 
now that we starting to get a few bits of machinery I'm gonna have to look at getting a shed put up as well which ultimately will mean cutting some more trees down so what we'll do is back up into here and not fill it with lime although if it's going to do that anywhere I might just let this fill up and it's a way to get out the truck right, there we are So we've got that empty now. I can't decide with this uh spreader looks a little bit too large for this tractor. Right, so let's go and get this fertiliser on. From what I remember, although it was a month ago, yeah, the spreading distance is really good on this. So it's not going to take long at all, to the point where I'm not even going to time lapse it. the spreading distance is fairly good, I still miss bits. I need to remember to get that. I say get them tree trunks out, we haven't got anything to do with it yet, have we? Just go over these bits up and missed. And there's a little bit over here. And then that'll be us done. Yeah, that must have already had I'd shown up as one application of fertilizer on it. So, we're going to stop there. Obviously it's only been a short section this, but I was very close to finishing the video before. Next time we'll be looking, like I said, to get a crop in the ground. We need to get a shed up to get some storage. And then we've also got that bit of cleared land when you first pull into the, the track to the farm figure out what we're going to do with that, whether we're going to put some animals to pasture there, or the way, whether we're going to turn that into a field as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.